welcome to another video so today in this video we will discuss about uh, one numerical from the superposition theorem so you can see here uh, in this circuit there are three sources you can see there is 2 ampere current source 1 ampere current source and 20 volt voltage source is there and the question is uh, what is the voltage across 3 ohm so we need to find out what is current flowing through this 3 ohm so that once i get the current due to all the sources then you can find out what is the voltage drop across 3 ohm so as uh, we know that in superposition theorem each sources are acting independently so there is three sources so we need to draw three different diagrams so for each source we need to draw separate diagram so when you are taking one source at that time voltage sources are short circuited and current sources are open circuited so first i will start with this 20 volt voltage source you can see here so when i will take this 20 volt voltage source the current sources are open circuited here the current sources are open circuited so you can see here here there is a current source it is open circuited here also there is another current source which is open circuited now you can see here uh, this 4 and 2 so when you start when you will start with this voltage source with respect to this voltage source if i will check uh, here current will start let the current i start here here it will dividing i1 and here i2 so this i1 will flow through this 4 and 2 so you can see here this 4 and 2 in through this 4 and 2 same current is flowing so you can see this 4 and 2 are in series and that is parallel with 6 so if i will redraw this diagram if i will redraw this diagram so i will get the curve like this So, I will this is a voltage source, this 4 and 2 are in series, so it will be 6 and this 6, you can see uh, this, so this is both are in series, so I will all together I will get 6 ohm, so this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are in parallel, so I am, so I can write down directly so 6 ohm, 6 ohm, so I can write down here, uh, so I will get here 3 ohms and so here also 3 ohms is given ok so you can write down here 6 parallel with 6 so i will get here 3 ohm so this 3 ohm i have written here the voltage source value is 20 volt now due to this 20 volt how much amount of current is flowing through this 3 ohm that i can find out let the current is flowing in this direction so the current i can find out by the net voltage 20 volt divided by the net resistance you can see here here this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm both are in series so i can write down 20 volt plus 3 and 3 so i will get 20 divided by 6 so i will get here 3.33 ampere so if i will take this point is uh, like this node is a here and this node is b here so i can say that current due to 20 volt is nothing but the 3.33 ampere which is flowing from a to b remember the current direction due to this 20 volt current is flowing from a to b ok so one source is over then you can go to the second source so in second i have taken this 2 ampere current source ok so you can see here this 2 ampere current source i have taken so voltage source will be short circuited and current sources will be open circuited ok so once i open the voltage uh, once i open the current source and uh, sort the voltage source i will get a diagram like this so you can see here uh, this 4 and 2 if i with respect to this uh, current source this 4 and 2 are in series so i can get here uh, 6 ohm okay so this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm both are parallel so if i will redraw this diagram i will get like this so let me redraw this one so i'll take the current source first this is your 2 ampere so <coughs> this 6 and this 6 are in parallel so i am writing here let this is your 3 ohm right this is your 3 ohm and here i will also i am having this 3 ohm okay so yeah, this is so this for this node is your n this node is your a this node is b now you can see this 2 ampere current will come so this 2 ampere current will flow like this so when it reaches here when this 2 ampere current will reaches here you can see there is two path 
okay so one current can go through this three uh, three ohm and another current can go through this three ohm and finally it meets here so it will be two ampere so as there is two parallel path and in each path there is uh, resistance of three ohm so i can i can say that this two ampere current is equally divided here so here one ampere will current will flow here one ampere current will flow so you can see here this one ampere current will again flow through this 3 ohm so the question they asked how much current is flowing through the 3 ohm so i can write down here current due to so current due to <coughs> uh 2 ampere is nothing but the current divided by 2 because there is equal resistances so i'll get 1 ampere okay so i can write down here current due to 2 ampere is 1 ampere 1 ampere but the current direction is from b to a remember the current direction is b to a but i need the current direction should from a to b so you can write down current due to 2 ampere equal to minus 1 ampere but the direction is from a to b so if the current is uh, b, uh, current 1 ampere is flowing from b to a and i want to find out the current which is from a to b so i'll get here i due to 2 ampere equal to minus 1 ampere which is flowing from a to b okay so two sources over one is uh, 20 volt another is 2 ampere next left is one source so i can take this is 1 ampere okay so i'll go to 1 ampere current source here so you can see here this is a 1 ampere current source so when i'll take 1 ampere current source so voltage source will be short circuited and the current source will be open circuited so once i once after doing this i got the uh circuit is like that now you can see here one ampere current will flow like this so i'll put this so this is this node i named before this node is a this node is b so as this node is b also this node is also b and this node is also b okay so let us name another let us name this node is c now we can redraw this diagram so by redrawing this diagram i will get the diagram like this so i'll write down here this is your 1 ampere current source so this is your c this is your b okay so in between c to b 1 ampere current source is there so as this is also b you can i can write down this is also b so all the nodes are same so in between c to b there is a 4 ohm resistance so i'll draw this in between c to b there is four ohm resistor okay then you can write down in between c to <coughs> a so i'll write down c to let let this is your a this let this node is a so c to a this is two ohm then in between a to b you can see a to b it is three ohm so i can write down here a to b See you. Then you can see here again in between A to B another six ohm is there. So in between A to B another six ohm is there. So I can write down in between A to B. <coughs> I can write down in this way. So as this is B, this is also B. So they are saying in between A to B another six ohm is there. So I will write down this is also six ohm. Oh, okay. So this is a one ampere current source. now from this figure it is clear that this 3 ohm and 6 ohm this 3 ohm and 6 ohm both are parallel so i can uh, redraw so this 3 ohm and 6 ohm its equivalent circuit i can get 3 parallel with 6 so i'll get 18 by 9 this is your 2 ohm now this circuit i can replace again i can replace again this circuit so i am again redrawing the circuit let this is your 1 ampere current source so here i'll put here 4 ohm this is also 2 ohm okay now this is also i'll get r equivalent equal to 2 ohm okay so <coughs> this is 1 ampere current source now you can see here this 2 ohm and this 2 ohm both are in series so all together i can get here i can get here 4 ohm i can get here 4 ohm so you can see here 1 ampere current will start from here 
so when it reaches when it reaches this point so you can see there is two path so in each path there is a 4 ampere <coughs> there is a 4 ohm resistance so you, you can find out so the current will equally divide so now this current will go so this path i will get point 0.5 ampere current will flow again in this path also point 0.5 ampere current will flow that that means in this figure i can say that so here the point 0.5 ampere current will flow and here also point 0.5 ampere current will flow okay so as both parallel path having equal resistance here also 4 here also 4 now this point 0.5 ampere current will flow through this 2 ohm right this point 0.5 ampere current will flow so when it reaches here at this node a so it can see two path okay so let another one path is flowing through let this is your i1 which is flowing to 6 ohm and another is i2 okay so this 3 and 6 both are in parallel but i am interested in what current is flowing through 3 ohm so i can find out here so i can write down i2 the current i2 is nothing but the net current so net current is 0 0.5 into opposite path resistance so your opposite path is 6 divided by 6 plus 3 okay so you can write down here 0 0.5 into 6 divided by 9 so we will get 3 by 9 so we will get 0 0.33 ampere okay so you can see this i2 is the current due to 1 ampere it is flowing from a to b so you can write down here the current due to 1 ampere is nothing but the 0 0.33 ampere which is flowing from a to b which is flowing from a to b now i can find out what is the net current so i, I got three current due to three sources one i got 0 0.33 ampere another i got minus 1 ampere and another i will get as 3.33 ampere you can see in all the currents are flowing from a to b so all the currents are flowing from a to b okay so all the currents are flowing from a to b now i can calculate the net current so i can calculate net current i total is nothing but the current due to 20 volt current due to 2 ampere plus current due to 1 ampere so i'll get here 3.33 ampere plus current due to 2 ampere I will get minus 1 ampere current due to 1 ampere I will get 0 0.33 ampere so by adding it I will get the current value is 2.66 ampere so this is the net current so I will get 2.66 ampere so the question they asked what is the voltage V0 you can see you can see the diagram the you can see the question ones we can see the question ones the question they asked what is the voltage so now here you can see the question the question they asked what is v0 okay so they are asking what is this v0 okay now current is flowing through the 3 ohm equal to 2.66 so you can see the current flowing here 2.66 ampere so you can find out v0 so when the current will enter this will be plus this will be minus so you can find out v0 is nothing but so you can write down the voltage v0 is nothing but the current i into the resistance so you can write down this is 2.66 into 3 i can find out this is your 7.98 volt okay so in this way you can solve the superposition theorem okay so if you have any doubt you can uh, write in the comment section i will try to solve your doubts thank you for listening